Rheumatoid arthritis almost always affects your joints. The inflammation it causes results in classic symptoms like stiffness, swelling, pain, redness and warmth. Ankylosing spondylitis signs most commonly appear before age of 45. You might notice back pain and buttock pain, stiffness and fatigue. Hello, the following video will demonstrate a simple yet effective way of injecting at visa. At visa injection is preferably intended to use under the guidance of medical expert. The intention of video is for educational purpose only. Step 1. Initiate at visa administration. After my healthcare professional trained me on using at visa, I don't have to visit clinic every time for taking my medicine. To initiate at visa administration, you will require the following things. A clean flat table on which at visa should be kept in the tray at room temperature for 15 to 30 minutes before starting the injecting process. Sterile water for injection. 25 gauge needle along with 1 ml syringe. A booklet to note the timings and injection site. Two alcohol swab pads for medical use. Some sterile cotton swabs. When you're done with the above preparation, you can start the administration process. Step 2. Preparing the dose. First, Remove the blue plastic cap from the wire. Using alcohol swap pad, sterilize the grey cork which is at the opening of the wire. Place the wire upright on flat and clean surface. Hold water for injection which is kept on table. Now take the needle and put 1 ml water for injection. Take Etwiza Vial and inject 1 ml water for injection from the needle slowly. Insert 25 gauge needle straight down to the center ring of the grey stopper. Use 27 gauge needle for sensitive patients to minimize injection site reactions. Push the plunger down very slowly until all water for injection from the syringe is transferred in vial. Adding the liquid too fast will cause foaming or bubbles. Gently swirl the vial in a circular motion to dissolve the Etwiza powder. Wait until all the powder dissolves. Don't worry if there is any foam or bubbles even after dissolution of powder. Do not inject the solution if it is discolored or contains lumps, flakes or any particles. Moving the vial up and syringe downwards, draw medicine out slowly. To remove air bubbles from the syringe, tap the syringe and slightly push the air out. Double check that you have the right amount of medicine drawn up. Put the cover back on the needle. Place the syringe in flat work surface until you are ready to inject Etwiza. After preparing Etwiza solution, immediate use is recommended. Step 3. Choosing injection site. Etwiza injection is given subcutaneously, that is under the skin, and the three recommended injection sites for Etwiza are first one, front of the middle thigh, second one, stomach area, that is abdomen except for the two inch area right around the navel or belly button, third and last one, outer area of the upper arms. This area should be used only if someone else is giving you the injection. Do not inject into areas where the skin is tender, bruised, red or hard. Avoid areas with scars or stretch marks. Step 4. Self-administration of Etwiza in presence of a helper. You should ensure that for Etwiza administration, you should be trained properly along with one person who can act as your helper. A helper can be anyone from your family. Once you're ready with a helper, you can start Etwiza self-administration process. First, you should wipe the injection site with a new alcohol swab. Now tell the helper to grab a pinch of your skin between the thumb and forefinger. 
Hold the syringe like a pencil at a 45 degree angle and insert the needle into the skin. When the needle is completely inserted into the skin, ask the helper to let go of the skin that she's holding and push the plunger to inject all Atweza solution at a slow and steady rate. Note that when the syringe is empty, pull the needle straight out. While doing this, be careful to keep it at the same angle as inserted. You can press a cotton ball or gauze over the injection site for 10 seconds. Take a special note of not to rub the injection site. If needed, you can tell helper to cover the injection site with a bandage. After completion of Advisa injection, monitor yourself for half an hour for any erythema, pruritus or pain symptoms. You have to keep the previous injection site record, which will be helpful for the next time injection. A different site should be used for each new injection. Each new injection should be given at least 3 cm away from the old site. If there is any swelling or pain at the injection site, please consult your doctor. Now let's see some basic information on how to dispose a Twiza injection. Put the used needles in a sharp disposal container right away after use. If you do not have a sharp disposal container, you may use a household container which should have the following properties. It should be made of a heavy-duty plastic. It should be closed with a tight-fitting, puncture-resistant lid without sharp being able to come out. It should be upright and stable during use. It should be leak-resistant and properly labelled to warn of hazardous waste inside the container. Put the used syringes and needles in this sharp disposal container right away after use. Also remember, do not recycle the needles, syringe, vial or sharp disposal container or throw them into household trash. Very important thing to remember is to keep the sharp disposal container out of the reach of children. After 12 weeks of prescribed dosage, you may see visible results. Issued in public interest by Itweza, a brand of Mega Life Sciences. Thank you for watching.